Hi, Lynn Sharon. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm on Ohio Street this morning where work is expected to get underway this week to repairs to the bridge that passes over I-95. And once that work starts, the bridge isn't expected to reopen until September. Now, the bridge is being demolished and then rebuilt. That work starts tomorrow, but the main Department of Transportation says the bridge will actually officially be closing today. This is a $5.9 million project Project, resulting in detours for cars and foot traffic these next few months. The project will also affect the interstate. Complete closers either northbound or southbound will be allowed between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Monday through Thursday. In terms of detours, for Ohio Street, cars will be redirected to Union Street and pedestrians will be redirected to 15th over to 16th Street. The main Department of Transportation's public information officer says the these repairs are very necessary since the bridge is ne nearing the end of its lifetime. Bridge design has come a long way in the past several decades. Um, some of the material we're using on the new Ohio Street Bridge is non-corrosive material. Uh, we hope that this next structure will last longer than the 60 years of the original structure. Um, like I said, things have come a long way and, and we hope that um, this replacement will be, will be pushing 100 years before we ever need to consider uh, another replacement. And Paul Merrill also told me that some bridges in the southern part of Maine may need similar replacements soon. That's because all of these bridges were built around the same time. They're between 60 and 70 years old, and they're ending the, near, the end of their lifetimes. In Bangor, Chloe Thibault, New Center, Maine.